In this video I'll give a few demonstrations of magnetic force on current carrying conductors. I'll begin with the current balance. I have a um, yoke of magnets here on a weighing scale. I've zeroed it so that the way with the magnets on there it's zero. This is a wire going through that magnetic field, a copper wire there. An ammeter reading the current in of the through the wire. So let's turn on the current, and you can see that there is a mass registry. That was a negative mass, which indicates that the magnets were being lifted upwards. So about. 4.25 grams. If I switch the magnets around, and now turn it on, and I have a positive of about the same magnitude. By looking at the mass, we can work out what the force of the magnets was, and using the current, find out and also find the length of the wire in the magnetic field, then we could use that to determine the magnetic field strength. Mass needs to be multiplied by G to find out the force on the magnets. This is also a good example of Newton's third law. Uh, we know there's a force on the wire, if you look carefully, you can see that the wire is deflected upwards there. And we know that the magnets are being pushed down. So there's a magnetic force on the wire from the magnets. And therefore there's an equal and opposite force from the wire on the magnet, onto the magnets. So the wire was forced up, the magnets are forced down. I have my current carrying conductor in this magnetic field. And I'll now put a current through it. Okay, so you can clearly see the magnetic force on the wire. It's a strong magnetic field, and when I put a current through it, it jumps out. If I reverse the current direction, then it's pulled down instead. So reversing current direction reverses the, the direction of the force. This shows how magnetic force can be used to drive a motor. I've got a coil here. These sides here carrying current perpendicular to the field that they're in. So they'll experience a force and they'll be in opposite directions. So it, the coil will experience a torque. So the coil spins around due to that torque. In order to keep the current flowing the same direction around the uh, coil with respect to the magnets here is the use of these slip rings. So as the when the coil is in this orientation, this is the positive terminal. Uh, sorry, this is the positive terminal here. <clears throat> so the current comes in, flows around this direction around the coil. When the coil has rotated due to these slip rings, the current continues to flow this direction around. So that's important to keep the torque in the same direction.